Solar PV Cast by Shift, a podcast exploring solar energy and the role it plays in improving our lives and our planet. Here's your host, Chris Palliser. Building integrated photovoltaics is it the future. I mean, it makes sense. Instead of adding solar panels to your roof, your roof is the solar panels. There's a new product on the market that is Canada's answer to the what seems mythical Tesla tiles. It's called Roof It Solar by Shift. Joining the podcast to tell us more about it is Shift Solar Consultant Russell Mackey and the founder and president of Shift, Colin Strong. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Chris, for having me. Thanks, Chris. No problem. Now, before we dive into this uh, this exciting advancement in solar technology, uh, a metal solar roof, Colin, I want to ask you a bit more about building integrated photovoltaics. For those new to this industry, what is it and why do we think it's the future? Uh, well, essentially, it's uh, building material with solar integrated into it. So it could be a roof, it could be a facade, it could be sidewalk. Um, yeah. Why is it the future? Well, you got to build anyways. Why don't you build smart? What you build with some solar integrated into it. Shift has the answer. In terms of uh, building integrated vo- photovoltaics, Russell, what's been the reception like to this product and in general um, from your point of view? There's a lot of excitement. Uh, anytime I bring the sample by any of my the architects or specifiers, typically I get a crowd forming around me looking to see how solar can now be integrated into the metal roofing. Uh, obviously, it's a it's a product that was been promoted by Tesla over the years, but never truly came to Canada. And now we not only have a, a solution for it, we have a solution that looks very, very sleek and blends into the building's envelope. What's the industry like in terms of um, where is it at in using building integrated photovoltaics in the builds, Russell? It's uh, it's it's pretty exciting. Uh, you'd see a lot of architects, as, as Colin was mentioning, you know, they have to build a roof, they have to build a facade. So being able to kill two birds in one stone, uh, being able to provide the solar generation into the on, or onto and into the envelope, uh, as well as I know Colin could speak more about it, but the, the legislature is requiring the net zero requirements or the, the green home requirements, uh, it, it definitely becoming more prevalent in solar design at the beginning of the architect phase. How, Colin, you've been on this ride. Obviously, you just didn't walk into this. You've been following building integrated photovoltaics in Canada specifically for a while now. How have you seen um, the adoption curve of of this idea? Uh, well, I mean, we're still really early. Um, we've been following it for a number of years. feel it is the answer in the, uh, in the medium long term. Uh, barriers obviously cost at the moment and... Uh, and supply. So, <clears throat> um, is it the future? Yeah. Is it uh, readily available at the moment? No. There's not a lot of companies doing it. So, it's uh, not a lot of companies doing it for one. Not a lot of companies supplying it too. So, it, it, it's it's um, a little bit elusive, we'll say, at the moment. Uh, you know, we have Tesla down in the U.S. that has been pushing the tiles for a number of years, but have had a really tough time. Uh, scaling the product, uh, even in the U.S. So uh, the future is is definitely in, in BIPV, in our opinion, uh, but it's going to take a number of years. Why do you figure it, it is slow to move along and, and, you know, we're not as far as, say, Europe and, and countries like that? Why do you figure it's slower here in Canada? Well, I mean, I still think that it's in its embassy in Europe as well. Um you know, you have, you have two, you know, different skill sets. You have the, you have solar installers who are used to installing panels and, and uh, mechanical attachments and whatnot on a roof and, and scaling up that business model in a certain way. And then you're used to roofing companies uh, being able to rip a roof off and or install a roof on a new construction quite quickly. And so with, with, uh, you know, a building integrated solar volt, photovoltaic roof you need to combine the two together um and it's not uh it's not straightforward and it's not straightforward from the the sale um onto the operational component so uh, it's going to take a while for the industry to adapt um and we're confident that it will especially as the supply of more products come to the market and the cost of those products start to come down 
uh, then demand will go up. How is the government side of things? You know, we're hearing all about the Greener Homes program, and they're pushing a lot of people to look at solar. Is there um, systems in place, legislation, policy in place to support building integrated photovoltaics? Uh, not exactly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. There isn't a lot of financial incentives at the moment to encourage the adoption thereof. Uh, but there is, you know, legislation around the world where jurisdictions are mandating uh, that there's some sort of renewable power generation in new construction. So uh, we see it in, in California, we see it in Tokyo um, and other jurisdictions around the world where any new home uh, being built needs to have some form of power generation. And, um, you know, BIPV is definitely uh, going to be one of the answers. Is it easy to retrofit or is it mostly going to be a new build thing? It's definitely going to be a lot easier to integrate BIPV into new construction. Uh, it can be done on retrofits. We just did one, in fact, last week. Uh, but there's a lot, a lot more nuances uh, with new or with uh, retrofit homes. Uh, um, it can be done. It's just a little bit more expensive, a little bit more time consuming, and it's a lot nicer. Any any project is a lot nicer when it's been designed uh, specifically for the product. It, it just it works a lot better. Russell, would you agree? One hundred percent. And that, that's why I spend most of my time at the infancy of a, the project specification. Architects get the call from the client and I work with them to, to not only help design the roof to tailor it towards a solar application, but also help them kind of understand the nuances of what a, a solar uh, BIPV integrated roof would be involved, whether that be electrical design all the way through the engineering firms. but it, it's it can be done as a retrofit, but the the ideal path is following it from an inception specification. I mean, I think that also speaks to education around solar in general, because traditional solar can be better when it's in the de designed phase. You know, uh, it's, you build a home and you put plumbing stacks on the south facing roof. All of a sudden, you don't have room for those solar panels. Do you think the country is? Um, is moving along that that idea that solar makes sense, Russell? 100%. Every new application that I've been chatting with an architect, solar is part of the dialogue, whether it's coming from the general contractor on a design build or whether it's a client looking for redundancy, whether it's a certain special community. It, every single application of new build that I've spoken with architects has a solar component to it. What do you think, Colin? I mean, you've been around the game for a while here. Um in terms of the solar game, how have you seen from an educational standpoint, is the public becoming more aware of solar as a viable option? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've been doing this for five, six years now. Um, and it was a lot, it was a lot harder sell in the early years and a lot more education. And uh, what we're seeing now is uh, neighbors are noticing their <laughs> their neighbor beside them having solar, their brother or sister or father-in-law have solar, and it's becoming a you know more of a a discussion piece, and um, it's just something that everyone is is wanting. It seems it's it's pretty cool to see. The big question, of course, around any new product, especially a, a two-in-one product that can be your roof and generate power is of course cost now no doubt i'm assuming because it's in its infancy and it's new in the country there is a higher cost associated with this product did you see that changing down the road colin yeah costs are definitely going to come down <clears throat> there's going to be more innovative ways to to build a construct the input costs of of products is going to drive the uh <clears throat> is going to drive costs down on the overall assembly as People do things better, smarter, uh, different. And um, as you start manufacturing at scale, uh, you're going to start to see economies of scale with pricing uh, go down as well with distribution and costs will come down. Costs will come down significantly, which will drive the demand for the product. Just like traditional solar. I mean, 10 years ago was a heck of a lot yeah. more than it is today. Exactly. Let's talk about this metal solar roof. Roof it dot solar by shift. Um, what do you love about it, Colin? 
Well, I love metal roofs and I love solar. You put them together, you got a pretty cool roof. <laughs> there you go. So I, uh, I was building uh, our dream home and I actually designed our roof specifically for this product because uh, I thought it was awesome. So, um, you know, you have a, a very durable uh, roofing material and you have solar built into it and you have a um, beautiful roof. It looks just like a really nice black standing sea metal roof, but it generates electricity. It's pretty cool. Tesla's been brought up a couple times. Russell, I'll throw this one to you. What, uh, what makes this better? I'll just say it than the Tesla tiles. Well, first and foremost, it's available in Canada. Uh, that's the, the, the best point. The, the, the second you look at the aesthetics of our, our uh, Rupert product is Colin had mentioned. I brought samples around to architects throughout Victoria and it looks like a black standard seam roof, except it's got solar in, in, solar generation integrated into it. Um, I can't speak much for the others, but it's very clear that it's not just a, a flat black roof. Uh, again, like Colin, I love the look of a flat, clean black roof. Looks amazing. And this ours has solar integrated. So I was down at a job site where we do have it installed in Victoria and pedestrians walking by were blown away to hear that the a black roof had solar integrated with into it. So it lo looks, it looks sexy. I mean, you got to like that. And you just kind of alluded to it. reception among developers and architects has been positive. Absolutely. Uh, the last uh, call I was on, I had the, a sample sitting on a front leaning up against the side of their building, the side of their entrance. And I had 15 architects in the parking lot, just staring at it, kind of ooing, awing, looking at it. So, uh, they're one of my favorite architects in Victoria and, uh, yeah, it, very, very well received. Amazing. What's the, what's the slope that it needs to be, uh, installed on? Is there one, can it go on the side of a building? So yeah, tall. we're trying to, uh, to maintain at least a 212 slope, <clears throat> uh, similar to other metal roofs. You don't really want to install on, uh, anything, uh, less than a, a 212. Um, and yeah, you can, can install it all the way vertical. So it can be, it can be a facade. Now shift has a TikTok out there. That's all about roof dot solar by shift. And it kind of went viral hundred thousand views because obviously people are interested in this. The number one question that I saw on this TikTok was what about hail? Do you have an answer for that question, Colin? Yeah. I mean, it's been tested. It's been hail tested, uh, like any other solar. Uh, panel and in fact it's probably stronger than than the majority of the solar panels out there i think it's tested to like 165 kilometers an hour or something like that um you know can it get damaged sure can your regular roof get damaged 100 percent. so uh the only way it's going to get damaged is if you know something falls on it that would damage your roof tree breaks off falls through that sort of thing um and really, the roof at roof is probably stronger than a conventional roof as it has layers of glass and back sheets and metal, um, not just metal. So it's, it's stronger than a regular roof. Good answer. All right. That should satisfy those TikTokers. <laughs> When it comes to this product, obviously incredibly exciting when it comes to shift as a whole and building integrated photovoltaics, how does it feel, Colin, to, uh, to be the head of this, this ship, especially here in Canada where there is not a lot of options and Tesla tiles do not exist in Canada? How has this ride been for you? Yeah, I mean, it's exciting, right? We want to be part of the future, whatever that looks like. And, um, you know, this, this, is, this is something that we are standing behind. We feel that. Uh, the new construction industry is going to be going this way. Um, it's the smart thing to do. It's the right thing to do. And it looks great. It works great. Uh, sunny out today. And uh, my roof's going to produce about 50 or 60 kilowatt hours more than it uses. And it's just a regular metal looking roof. But it's beautiful and it produces electricity. You can't beat that. Russell, final thoughts from you as well on, on roofit.solar, building integrated photovoltaics, and, and where do you stand? 
very excited about uh, the BIPV opportunity. You know, uh, Shift has an amazing product that we get to bring and be the industry leaders in a technology that, and I don't want to say it would be stagnant, but we get to lead the industry with a with an offering with the BIPV solution. So we I've got a lot of block buy-in from clients, a lot of buy-in from architects, engineers. So very exciting to be on the forefront uh, of this uh, this industry. Final thoughts from you, Colin, to those uh, watching and listening on the Solar PV Cast. The biggest question that we typically get, uh, well, besides your health question, is uh, is it available and can I can I install it? And the answer is yes, you can, so long as you live in one of the areas with which we service at the moment. So. We have plans to expand Surrey, Ontario. We get a lot of requests from, from Ontario. We cannot um, install in Ontario quite yet. Uh, we're focusing on the lower mainland, Vancouver Island, um, in British Columbia, as well as in Halifax and uh, surrounding area, Nova Scotia. I'm glad you touched on that one. Yeah, that would uh, left a lot of people hanging. Well, gentlemen, thanks for uh, joining the Solar PV cast. And it's uh, pretty exciting to uh, hear your points of view on the future of building integrated photovoltaics and, of course, roofit.solar by Shift. Thanks for your time. The Solar PV cast by Shift with Chris Palliser. To begin your solar journey, visit shift.ca.